Hey there, I'm Christy Wilhelmy from Garden Nerd. Have you ever gone out into your garden in the morning and found it completely turned upside down? Plants pulled out and set aside, tunnels dug, soil piled up everywhere. Yeah, well, that happened to me this morning. I came out and all the fresh tomatoes I had just planted were all upturned. Let's talk about what this is, why it happens, and how to prevent it. By the time I had realized this would make a really great video, I had already fixed the situation, so I don't have any footage of what it looks like. But you can see from this footage, this is some compost that I had in a bin, harvested compost that I had left uncovered. Well, they went through that too. You see, it's just upturned, it's been disturbed, it's not smooth. Uh, that's what to look for. And of course, you'll find plants pulled out, roots sitting up, droopy plants on their side. So why is this happening? Well, it's nocturnal critters who are protein eaters. So that is typically opossums, raccoons, and maybe a couple of other things, <laughs> but mostly those guys, skunks also. They're looking for protein in your garden in the form of beetle grubs. These grubs, you can see here, they come in a couple different sizes. I mean, they, as they grow, they get bigger and thicker and juicier and they live in the soil, they incubate in the soil, and then when they hatch, they turn into green beetle grubs or June fig beetles, or you know, if you're west, if you're east of the Mississippi, Japanese green beetles, that's what they look like. And so they will burrow through your soil looking for those grubs, and they'll basically pull out and toss aside any plants that you have. The good news is, they don't want your plants. So if you catch it early enough, you can replant your plants and they'll be fine. They'll recover. The bad news is they may come back again and again throughout the season. So let's talk about prevention. Grubs will often pupate in the soil over winter and in the spring, that's when the critters come out looking for them. So one of the things that you can do to treat for grubs is to apply beneficial nematodes to your soil. Heterorhabditis bacteriophora is one of the beneficial nematodes that you can apply to your soil. It, they go in and seek out these grubs and feed on them. More often than not, you will have to apply more than once because you have to catch them during certain stages of growth but it is a solution that will help you keep them at bay. Another thing you can do is, of course, when you sift through your compost, pull out all those grubs and give them to a friend who has chickens because they are chicken shrimp. We love to give them to our chickens. Now, uh, remember though, if you're east of the Mississippi, the Japanese green beetle grubs are toxic to some degree. West of the Mississippi, they're not there that's a different strain a different type of beetle grub and you don't have to worry about that you can also use physical barriers to protect your plants from being dug up uh, cages and cloches that are big enough to keep the plants safe underneath made out of chicken wire or half inch hardware cloth that will help protect your plants from critters getting underneath and inside it may take a while to manage the problem and keep in mind that this is an ongoing problem that will need an ongoing solution, which is why beneficial nematodes are great. Once you've managed the issue, you can replant those plants. I like to stick them in the ground and then water them immediately with some kelp emulsion that helps ease transplant shock. So do that and if you can, plant them as early in the morning as you can or as late in the afternoon as possible so they aren't susceptible to the midday sun. I hope this helps you solve the mystery of who's digging up your garden and what to do about it. If you like this video, share it with your friends. Don't forget to subscribe and turn on notifications to find out when our next video comes online. Consider becoming a Patreon subscriber to support all the free stuff we do here at Garden Nerd. And of course, check out my books, uh, Grow Your Own Mini Fruit Garden, Gardening for Geeks, and my novel, Garden Variety. Happy gardening!